Hey guys, welcome back. This is Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design and today I'm going to show you how I made my mermaid mood ring tumbler. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoy. So this is a 25 ounce straight duo tumbler from Stainless Steel Depot. Um, it was originally prepped, sanded, washed, and spray painted white, but I wanted to do a black base for this cup. And here I am showing you that tumbler straight out the box. Um, this is just another one, but I wanted to show you what it looks like out of the box. This is a dual tumbler. It comes with two lids, a regular drinking lid. It's a screw-on cap, which is nice. And it also has a water bottle lid. And um, I just like these cups. They're really nice. I like the screw-on lid because I feel like they fit better. And yeah, um, the other bonus of these cups are that they are straight. There's no taper so it's easy to put wraps on them. Um, I'm in no way affiliated with the Stainless Depot, I just like their products. I'm going to measure the cup because I'm going to cut out a wrap for this. I'm going to make a mermaid template for the cup and you'll see here. So I'm just measuring um, so that I know what size to make the wrap. So I'm going to open up my Cricut Design Space and I have a mermaid scales um, SVG that I downloaded from Cricut Design Space. You can find it in the Cricut Design Space. Um, find one that you like. So I'm going to show you how I am going to piece four of these um, SVGs together to make a bigger um, a, dig a bigger SVG um, for what I'm looking for. So I, I opened up the file and it has those lines on the side. I don't want those. So I made a shape, rectangle shape, and if you place it over the areas you don't want, and then you highlight both items into the bottom right, you'll see a button or an option to slice. Click slice and it'll cut those off and then you just delete the portions that you don't need. Uh, I did this so that I can um, put four of these together. I wanted the scales to be a specific size, so that's why I'm doing this. So you can see that I'm just deleting those pieces, and I'm going to make a duplicate, duplicate this three more times, and then piece them together. So I'll let you watch. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I will try to answer the best I can. So if you choose to do four of these, make sure that you weld them together. You select them all and then click the weld button. Otherwise, um, Design Space will cut them each separately. So I here I um, made a square. I selected the size I wanted and that's where I cut and sliced that to make the size I want. And I'm just using this random pink vinyl because um, I'm doing a peekaboo. All this will come together here in a bit. What I'm doing is I'm going to put that vinyl directly on the cup as a wrap. And you'll see, um, this is the tedious part. I'm going to uh, do a silo, I don't know what to call it. Um, it's a stencil, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to do a stencil. So I have to peel off every one of those little tiny 
uh, mermaid scales because that's the design I want. I want the inside of the scale to be the paint I'm going to use later, so I'm making a stencil with this, if that makes any sense. So 500 years later, it's all weeded. Now I'm going to take my transfer tape. Uh, it's a whole sheet here. <laughs> um, and just put that on there. The nice thing about this cup is it is a straight edge, so I didn't have to do any um, tapering at all in the image. I could just roll it on there straight. So um, when you place these mermaid scales, make sure the curve is facing to the bottom of the cup. And here I'll show you, um, I'm just going to lay it down on my cup table here and place the cup directly on, make sure I have it straight. And I was so happy that I actually got that straight on the first try. <laughs> fiddling with it a little bit. I'm cutting off this edge um, so that the mermaid scales themselves aren't cut in half. It, it kind of stuck down so I peeled that back up and I'm cutting it straight. Um, this rat, You'll see me kind of fiddle with this transfer tape a little bit. I did purposely make the image a little bit longer than it needed to be so that way it would be completely covered. So I'm just doubling it over. I'm going to cut it with my X-Acto knife so it will have a nice straight edge and then peeling the transfer tape back and laying it down flat.
here is the cup and I'm going to apply a new product that I purchased from the Solar Color Dust Company. This is a brushable liquid crystal. Um, it's in this little tiny vial and this stuff is like liquid gold. <laughs> I'm actually going to brush this on the cup because what this does, it, it, it has a mood ring effect. It goes on this uh, kind of creamy yellow color um, and when it dries, you apply multiple layers and it dries and you apply heat to it, it will make this beautiful rainbow effect. Um, this product is amazing. It is expensive. For this little vial it was $15 and I ended up using the whole vial on the cup. So um, this is definitely not a cup that I would <laughs> have in my shop or anything like that. I wanted to give this a try and it turned out so beautiful and so rainbowy and it's like a magical little um, thing so it's really neat to work with i wish i could get a bigger vial for not quite so expensive but i guess like i said it's kind of like liquid gold So I did apply a thin coat of the um, liquid crystal and I'm drying in between. I ended up doing three layers. I used it until the bottle was gone um, and it you'll start to see the color shift here. Um, after the third layer I'll get a better close-up for you of it so you can see. So here as I'm applying the heat, you can kind of see a little bit of a color shift. Um, you have a purple tinge going on. Um, one thing I learned with this is that the higher the heat, the warmer it is. It does turn into a dark, dark purple on that black base. Um, but And then as it cools, it the rainbow comes out. And you'll start to see it. I was like mesmerized by this and it was fun playing around with it. Um, it, it gets even better, so just keep watching guys. Did you guys see that rainbow? Did you see the rainbow? Look at that. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? So here I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I was going in a different direction than what this cup ended up turning out. There are several reasons. Um, first of all, this paint is water based and as I was I painted it over the vinyl and was pulling it up for the peekaboo, um, that paint really stuck to the peak to the vinyl and as you can see I'm trying to use my exacto knife to push the paint down and stick it back down. This paint is dry. Um, I probably should have pulled it up when it was still a little bit tacky, but uh, you know, this product is expensive and I worked too hard on this cup to give it up and trash it. So I was bound and determined to make this cup work no matter what. Um, 
So you'll see here that it's pulling up the scales a little bit. Uh, I did salvage them um, and actually at the end it kind of turns into, you can't even tell. Um, one other thing that I made a mistake on and I'm going to share this with you guys. After I spray painted my cup, I should have put down a base layer of resin to seal it basically. And, um, because once I put that vinyl down, um, and then painted over it as I was peeling that vinyl back up. You can see that it is lifting Some of that black spray paint and exposing the white underneath. This was probably the most frustrating part for me um, <laughs> There was a few uh, choice words said by myself good thing. It's deleted, but anyway <laughs> um, Lesson learned and this cup act these mistakes actually put me in a different direction than I was originally going with and it turned out so much better than I ever thought it would. So hopefully this is a lesson for me and for every, anyone that's watching and think that they mess a cup up. If you have something happen to your cup and it isn't exactly the vision that you had, you know what, pivot. Life's too short, go with it. If in the end it just is completely a wreck, then you can decide. So this is what I did. I actually put, after I peeled up my vinyl, I didn't show it here, but I actually went ahead and threw a layer of resin on my cup because I wanted to seal in that um, paint and the scales. I was afraid more was going to peel up. So I went ahead and put a layer of resin down to seal it, and you can see the shine of the resin there. It's already been cured. So I'm going in with a dry brush, um, a black, dry, black paint with a dry brush technique, and I'm brushing over those areas where the white paint showed, uh, peeled through um, to give it kind of a distressed look. This ended up turning out really cool, um, so I was happy with it. I'm also later going to um, rub some Mod Podge on the cup and put little streaks of mica to give the cup some dimension. You'll see me do all that here in just a little while. It's cold in my craft room, so I got out my heat gun. I wanted to be able to see those mermaid scales so that I, to be sure that I wasn't painting over all of them. See how cool that rainbow is? Anytime this cup is touched or there's heat applied to it, those rainbow uh, mermaid scales just it, pop out. So I wanted to see the scales because I'm going to take some alcohol on a paper towel and kind of brush back some of that paint so that so much of my scales aren't covered and I didn't even care if some of the white showed back up um, now I kind of the new direction I was going in is a distressed look um, so you'll see me do that here These are my little micas that I purchased from Arteza, Arteza.com. I can leave that link in the description below. I chose a blue, a uh, black kind of shimmery metallic charcoal and a gold green. <laughs> accidentally poured out way too much my, uh, Mod Podge. You don't need that much Mod Podge. <laughs> so um, scrape that back in there. So I'm going to apply this with my finger because I really wanted to have good um, placement of my mica. I don't want it to overpower the scales. The scales are actually the um, centerpiece of the cup, but I just wanted to add something. It needed a little more sparkle. You know me, I love glitter. Um, it also added dimension. <clears throat> and ultimately, this cup is going to remain black with um, 
the mica and the black paint and it'll just look like a sparkly cup, black cup until you touch it or heat's applied and then it, you see the rainbow. So it did need something, otherwise it would just be a plain black cup. So that's why I'm going in with my micas and I'm really sorry about the camera. Um, I was trying a new camera technique and I'm not sure if I really like it. So if you're getting a little motion sick, I apologize extremely, extremely much. on the track. Now I'm going to apply a thin layer of resin. Um, I'm going to add these glitters, Mermaid Bay by Glitter Craze. This is a green by Little Lee and Rose, hollow black mix by um, Glitter Craze, Nessie by Sparkly Meemaw, um, and I'm just going to very lightly sprinkle these over the cup. I don't want full coverage, I want just a little bit of sparkle because I love my bling bling glitter. Um, and you'll see how I put those on there. I'm going to actually pour them into my hand and sprinkle them lightly in different areas. And um, I do put quite a bit of resin on it first and then I end up scraping some off because I don't want those glitters to really swirl around and move. I just want them to go where I place them. So I'll let you watch the process.
Look at this, guys. Can you see the mermaid, the rainbow mermaid, peeking through those streaks of mica and glitter and black paint? It is such a pretty cup and it changes every single time I look at it. It's so much fun to watch the rainbows change. Um, and I'm gonna put multiple <laughs> angles of this cup because you can, it'll be one color one minute and then another color another minute. And it is absolutely gorgeous and so satisfying. I think it turned out beautiful. And I hope you guys give this a try because it is just a cool, cool thing. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting from my channel. And it, I am so encouraged. I have so many ideas for neat new designs that I'd love to share with everyone. Here's my little one. She's uh, helping. This is a Ro Miss Aurora from my my namesakes to my company. She's helping show how her little warm hands made the cup change color. And she'll have a little cameo here in just a second. she is my little aurora mermaid <laughs> thank you so much again for watching if you like my video hit that subscribe button and the like button happy crafting